He might not seem important. Just another dead, random, pixelated soldier. But this particular soldier is one of the most historically significant developments in gaming history. This Nazi was the first enemy and the granddaddy of all first-person shooters, Wolf 3D. Ordinarily, we would kill him repeatedly in EC Wolf to showcase a series of upgrades you can make to the source port. But for visual improvement, you only really need CJ's shoeshine patch. And a quick how-to. This is what EC Wolf looks like by default in glorious 1080p with widescreen enabled. Here's what it looks like with CJ's shoeshine patch. I'm assuming from here on out that you've already installed EC Wolf. If you haven't, then a link to how to do that and have it play nice with Steam is in the description. Download CJ's shoeshine patch directly from the second link in the description or from the ZDoom forums, also conveniently linked here. Substantial parts of EC Wolf are based off ZDoom, so it can utilise the PK3 format. Stick them somewhere simple or just drag the PK3 file onto the DOSBox executable every time you want to play. Because you're a clever person who followed my guide, you can automate this process on both Steam and GOG Galaxy by allowing customised executable parameters. They can be found on Steam by right-clicking on the game and hitting Properties. Then in the General tab, pressing the Set Launch Options button. If you bought Wolf 3D on GOG.com and have Galaxy installed, you'll want to right-click on the title, Mouse over Manage Installation, and tick Custom Executables under Launch Parameters, before adding another executable parameter and setting it as default. It's that easy! The launch parameter you need to feed it depends on your drive letter and directory. In my case, I stuck the PK3 files in C Wolf Mods, as an example. So I entered dosbox.exe files C Wolf Mods E Wolf HD Pack.pk3. This tells your launcher, hey, play EC Wolf that I totally renamed as Dosbox, and also make it run with this PK3 file. If you want additional PK3 files loaded alongside the mod, then separate them with a space. Make sure they're in their own separate set of quotations, too. The result is you can load EC Wolf directly from your favourite launcher and have it auto-load the shoeshine patch. Time to kill that Nazi all over again. Halt!